Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jay Mehta here from Shri IVF Clinic, Mumbai. In today's video, we are going to try and understand about the procedure for microdissection tessae. The full form is microdissection of the testis epidermal region for sperm extraction. As you all know, azoospermia is one of the most common causes of male infertility and it is characterized by zero sperm counts or nil sperm counts. In azoospermia, the more common variant is the non-obstructive azoospermia, which typically means that the entire anatomy of the male reproductive system is normal. That means testis is structurally normal, the vas deferens is normal, seminal vesicles are normal and the outflow tract is normal. But there is an inherent defect in the sperm production occurring inside the testis. Now this could be due to a variety of causes like it could be endocrinological that means hormone related, it could be toxic that means due to any form of gonadotoxicity predominantly due to chemotherapy, radiation therapy, due to any malignancy in the body, it could be viral or infective etiology induced, it could be traumatic or it could be genetic that means it's present from birth. In these situations of non-obstructive azoospermia, one can have a testis which is slightly smaller in size, slightly abnormally located, slightly softer in consistency and there could be variable hormonal reports, predominantly with elevated FSH levels and either low or normal testosterone levels. In all cases of non-obstructive azoospermia, the treatment of choice for a male patient to ensure to have his own sperms for his own genetic offspring is to perform microdissection. Now, in microdissection, what is done predominantly is that the testis is opened up and a microscope is mounted on the testis. This microscope is mounted so that the testis can be magnified. Now, I'll tell you why we want to magnify the testis. Remember, Inside the testis, it is divided into several compartments and these compartments house something called as seminiferous tubules. These are independent cylindrical bodies which cater to sperm production. When we talk of non-obstructive azoospermia, it means that we hope that there is still presence of focal sperm production. That means Inside the testes, there could be still some areas which are producing sperms, though majority areas are not producing sperms. But we are going to hunt for those areas which are producing sperms so that we get viable sperms out of it. And this can help us in doing the procedure of ICSI. Remember, Microdissection is a procedure which is done under either spinal or general anesthesia. It's a procedure which takes approximately two to two and a half hours to do. So the doctor has to be extremely patient while doing the procedure because it is a game of trial and error, hit and run. We can identify a tubule which we think is good, but the laboratory examination would reveal no sperms inside and we need to begin the whole procedure again it's important to understand that males who undergo microdissection are relieved from the hospital within 24 hours. The testis is carefully sutured back, reconstructed, and there could be slight post-operative pain for the first 48 hours. But males undergoing this procedure are allowed to resume their office after 48 hours of the procedure. Mild painkillers and a small course of either three days or five days of antibiotics could be given at the end of the procedure. This is the technical aspect. The other thing that a male patient should remember is that in non-obstructive azoospermia, based on the hormonal parameters, your doctor can give you certain pre-medications, which could be in the form of tablets or in the form of injections, which could probably last for approximately three to six months if they are deemed necessary. This is not given in all the patients. So I repeat, only if they are deemed necessary, they could be given to you. The other important thing is that 
blanket that means if you look at an average the sperm retrieval rate using micro dissection in experienced hands is going to be approximately 55 to 70 percent a male patient should have thorough counseling of his hormonal parameters and expected sperm retrieval rates at our hospital since this is a referral unit for azoospermia across the country we see a lot of complicated patients who have undergone previous surgeries and have come to us for repeat surgeries and even in those patients on a broad average of 1 year we do get a sperm retrieval rate in excess of 35% what is important to understand is that this technique is one of the best hopes for a patient with non obstructive azoospermia to have a child with his own sperm importantly these days due to the availability of techniques if we do find excess sperm these sperm can now be preserved using a highly specialized mechanical technique of sperm vd vitrification which allows us to preserve a single sperm and allows us to recover a single sperm if needed for future use the techniques will keep on improvising but it's very important that as a couple and as a male patient you don't give up you don't lose hope if you follow the treatment under the correct hands you are giving yourself 55 to 60% chance of still finding your own sperm and having your own child we have put up certain videos on the technical aspect of micro dissection on our channel you might be interested to go through it i'm sure as far as there is not obstructive azoospermia there can be a lot of anxiety and a lot of questions should there be any you can put them down in our comment box either myself or one of my team members will be happy to answer your questions thank you so much